सो वट एवर द स्टैंडर्ड बुक दैट यू आर रेफरिंग वहां पर एक टेबल दी हुई होगी दैट दीज आर द डिजीज कोजिंग बैक्टीरिया so today we will discuss two to three things first one is antibiotic and antimicrobial resistance second thing food fortification okay and third thing is vaccine okay some of the concepts related to vaccine okay so that was in the news hidden pandemic of amr okay hidden pandemic of amr poses challenge okay so my first question is what is antibiotic what is antibiotic the common antibiotic that uh, we use that that azithromycin apna naam suna ho to aapko kuch bhi jukham hua khansi hua okay so usually you will go to the that medical store and they will prescribe you that you should take this azithromycin yes so what is antibiotic first question medicines that work against bacterial infection only bacterial infection okay yes or no only bacterial or viral or okay antibiotic is only against bacterial infection okay and what is antimicrobial then what is antimicrobial no idea what are microbes disease causing uh, pathogens okay we are having disease because of many of the pathogens like name those pathogens bacteria virus protozoa fungus yes बैक्टीरियल डिजीज टीबी है ना वायरल डिजीज फ्लू कॉमन है ना फ्लू प्रोटोजोअल डिजीज मलेरिया वी हैव डिस्कस्ड है ना क्लास में मलेरिया ओके प्लाज्मोडियम फंगल डिजीज एनी फंगल डिजीज नेम इट कौन सी होती है ब्लैक फूड डिजीज so basically these are disease causing pathogens yes disease causing pathogens and to prevent all those infections anti microbials are used against them is it okay yes aapko malaria ho gaya then you will take some uh, medicines which will be antimicrobial that can treat malaria that disease okay in the, in the case of virus you will take antivirals okay in case of bacteria you will take antibiotic antibiotic in case of fungus you will take antifungal yes why to treat those diseases simple if you are having cough or cold or flu okay cough and cold or flu can be uh, the what is the cause of cough or cold bacteria as well as virus okay bacteria as well as virus so you will take anti bacterial as well as uh, antibiotic as well as anti virals is it okay so basically anti microbial is an umbrella term which involves antibiotic yes antibiotic ko hum ek ek aur naam se jante hain which is anti bacterial as well isi mein kya aata hai anti virals एंटी फंगल एटसेट्रा 
yes is it okay so whatever the standard book that you are referring wahan par ek table di hui hogi that these are the disease causing bacteria or disease causing pathogens and these are the disease caused by these bacteria or these viruses or these protozoa okay so just go with that table okay because disease is caused by bacteria as well as virus as well as protozoa as well as fungus yes these are the pathogens and these are the disease and one more thing that is the vector which is involved okay because many of the diseases are vector borne disease what is vector borne disease what is vector like mosquito like mosquito in case of dengue virus okay dengue caused by virus and what is the vector mosquito kaun sa kaun sa hai aedes yes aedes mosquito okay you got the idea so malaria caused by protozoa that is plasmodium and what is the vector again a uh, female anopheles you got the idea okay this is not the topic of discussion but you should remember that particular table that these are the pathogens virus bacteria protozoa fungus okay unke naam and what are the diseases that they are causing right now okay such as tb flu diarrhea okay malaria black foot disease etc and what are the vectors which are involved in their transmission okay these are the factual aspect is static aspect okay you need to remember all those things yes in case of uh, dengue virus mosquito is the vector but which type of mosquitoes ye bhi question ban jata hai yes so aedes mosquitoes and in case of malaria anopheles mosquito you got the idea so remember that particular table okay so these are the diseases to treat those diseases we took or we take antimicrobial antimicrobial means some of the medicines that we are uh, using to kill those kill those pathogens inside our body is it okay in the last lecture or in the last to last lecture we have discussed one more thing which is known as vaccine what is the difference between two we have discussed vaccine in one of the current so we will discuss that also hai na dono mein difference bhi dekh lenge theek hai so first thing first topic of discussion is antimicrobial resistance so basically we are taking antimicrobial such as antibiotic antiviral and antifungal to kill these pathogens inside our body but the point is they are becoming resistance resistant to these antimicrobials कहने का मतलब यह है कि जो भी हम मेडिसिन ले रहे हैं वो इफेक्ट ही नहीं कर रही है इन्फेक्शन खत्म ही नहीं हो रहा है यस ओ नो विच इज नोन एज एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस जो जुकाम पहले दो दिन में चला जाता था वो अब छे छह दिन तक चल रहा है यस ओ नो विच मीन्स दैट जुकाम कोजिंग पेथोजन नाउ डेवलप्ड रेजिस्टेंट अगेंस्ट दो एंटी माइक्रोबियल्स दैट वी वर यूजिंग यस ओ नो डेफिनेशन इसकी देखो एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस अकर वेन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम सच एस बैक्टीरिया वायरस फंगी पेरासाइट इवॉल्व टू रेजिस्ट द इफेक्ट ऑफ एंटी माइक्रोबियल मेडिसिन सच एस एंटीबायोटिक एंटीवायरल एंटी फंगल एंटी पेरासाइट 
this makes infection uh, infections harder to treat leading to increase the risk of disease spread severe illness and death is it okay when any of the pathogen becomes resistant then it will become difficult for us to treat that particular disease wohi baat hai ki jo jukham 2 din mein khatam hota tha wo ab 7 8 din tak chal raha hai yahi ho raha hai theek hai world health organization has identified amr antimicrobial resistance as one of the top 10 threat to the global health top 10 मतलब बहुत बड़ा इशू है छोटा इशू नहीं है एंटीमाइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस इज वन ऑफ द पब्लिक हेल्थ चैलेंज और पब्लिक हेल्थ थ्रेट दैट वी आर फेसिंग राइट नाउ ये सोनो हाउ इट हैपन्स फर्स्ट जेनेटिक चेंज व्हाट इज जेनेटिक चेंज बैक्टीरिया कैन अक्वायर रेजिस्टेंस थ्रू द म्यूटेशन और बाय ऑप्टेनिंग रेजिस्टेंस जीन फ्रॉम द अदर bacteria what it means it means this it means this these are the bacteria okay these are the bacteria disease causing bacteria now you are using antibiotic to kill all those bacteria but some of the bacteria are already mutated they already developed the resistance resistance against any particular medicine that you are using right now okay so with this antibiotic you can kill all the bacteria but those resistant bacteria will remain okay and some of the bacteria will also kyunki aisa to hai nahi ki 100% bacteria hi mar jayenge which is not possible yes or no to kuch aur bach jayenge तो ये जो बैक्टीरिया जो ऑलरेडी रेजिस्टेंट थे और नए वाले आ गए वो मिलकर के फिर से क्या होंगे मल्टीप्लाई होंगे मल्टीप्लाई होंगे तो ये क्या हो गया पॉपुलेशन ऑफ मेनली रेजिस्टेंट बैक्टीरिया नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस दिस एंटीबायोटिक विल नॉट बी इफेक्टिव जो आप यहां खाते थे वो अब यहां खाओगे तो मरेंगे ही नहीं वो इन्फेक्शन जाएगा ही नहीं ये सो नो दिस इज this particular thing is known as mutation why mutation why bacteria are mutating no 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 why bacteria are mutating we have uh, yes one of the cause of antimicrobial resistant is we are using too much of antibiotic or anti uh, microbial yes we are using too much like we are having small uh, cough or minor symptoms are there and we are using azithromycin to treat that jo ki normally bhi theek ho jata do din mein kaadha wada pee ke hai na garam pani pee ke adrak wali chai pee ke yes but we are using azithromycin to treat that particular thing yes so for the next term that azithromycin will not work abhi aapko do azithromycin khani pad rahi thi ab baad mein char khani padegi Are you getting my point or not? But why this mutation is going on? मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है यहां पर लिखा हुआ है ना दैट म्यूटेशन जेनेटिक चेंज वाई दो डिजीज कोजिंग बैक्टीरिया और माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म आर म्यूटेटिंग वाई दे आर म्यूटेटिंग वाई डीएनए चेंज तो हो ही रहा है यस म्यूटेशन मीन्स they are changing their dna structure ye to ek negative point ho gaya ki aisa karenge to aisa ho jayega karenge usko discuss hum why bacteria are mutating why viruses are mutating covid 19 ke time pe humne dekha that first covid 19 fir koi sa aur aa gaya hai na kitne omega delta variant ye variant wo wo variant viruses uh, virus was mutating why it was changing its genetic uh, material or dna structure i mean not overuse here ha huh. we can say i mean survival of the fittest one rule is there what is the rule survival of the fittest yes that rule applies to the
pathogens also like us the same covid 19 virus was infecting us in 2021 2020 yes or no but the same virus is still circulating but it is not infecting us yes it is not it is circulating but it is not infecting us yes why because of the survival of the fittest just like we are adapting okay just like we are showing the adaptation to something okay the same applies to the pathogens also they are mutating and because of that mutation they are also ensuring their survival you are getting my point so one reason of antimicrobial resistance is that they are also trying to survive yes or no and and in order to survive they are mutating themselves yes or no very much clear now covid 19 becomes uh, a no, uh, normal phenomena normal flu like symptoms वैसे भी फ्लू लाइक ही सिम्टम थे उसके कोई अलग नहीं थे लेकिन अब कोविड नाइनटीन और फ्लू में कोई फर्क नहीं रह गया कोविड नाइनटीन आपको होएगा भी तो आपको पता चल नहीं रहा है बिकॉज यूर बॉडी इज ऑलरेडी अडेप्टेबल टू दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग यस और नो बट योर बॉडी इज स्टिल नॉट अडेप्टेबल टू जी का वायरस और निपा वायरस और वो दैट मंकी पॉक्स वायरस दैट वी डिस्कस्ड ओके Your body is still not adaptable to that particular thing. क्यों क्योंकि अभी तक वो फैला नहीं है जैसे ही वो फैलेगा बहुत वाइड स्प्रेड उसका डिजीज होगा ऑटोमेटिकली अवर बॉडी विल गेट अडेप्टेड टू दैट ऑल्सो फिर वो भी एक नॉर्मल फिनोमिना बन जाएगा वाई बिकॉज वी आर ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू एंश्योर अवर सर्वाइवल गेटिंग माई पॉइंट that is why bacteria or viruses or fungal they are mutating in order to ensure their survival so basically genetic changes is nothing but the natural phenomena every organism will try to ensure its survival just like bacteria just like human first thing second misuse and overuse that is the overuse of antibiotic in human and animal as well as their misuse that is not completing the prescribed course accelerates the development of resistant bacteria first thing misuse what is misuse maine abhi example diya aapko kya hai misuse normal aapko pata bhi nahi tha ki aapko bacterial infection hai aur aapne phir bhi wo azithromycin kha li why बिकॉज इट इज इजीली अवेलेबल बिना डॉक्टर के प्रिस्क्रिप्शन के आपको मिल जाती है इनफैक्ट कुछ लोगों को एक एक दो नाम पता हो जाते हैं तो वो खुद जा करके होशियार बनने के लिए ले देते हैं कि एजिथोमाइसिन देना यार ठीक है आपको पता भी नहीं है कि आपको ये जो हुआ है ये ठंडा पानी पीने की वजह से हुआ है यार उसमें बैक्टीरिया का कोई रोज ही नहीं है लेकिन आपने एजिथोमाइसिन खा दी फोकट में ये क्या है मिस है यस ओवर हो गया और एक और क्या होता है नॉट कंप्लीटिंग द प्रिस्क्राइब्ड कोर्स सपोज देर आर मेनी बैक्टीरिया और मेनी वायरस और मेनी माइक्रोब्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन योर बॉडी नाउ यू आर यूजिंग एंटी माइक्रोबियल टू ट्रीट दैट पर्टिकुलर इंफेक्शन और टू ट्रीट दैट पर्टिकुलर डिजीज ओके नाउ डॉक्टर प्रिस्क्राइब फाइव टू सिक्स डेज कोर्स यूजुअली होता है ना ऐसा वो पांच दिन का कोर्स आपको देता है ठीक है और आप फिर से होशियार बनते हो और करते हो कि तीन दिन में तो खत्म हो ही गया है इन्फेक्शन अब मैं वो दो दिन की मेडिसिन नहीं खाऊंगा ऐसा करते हैं हम लोग सब करते हैं मैंने भी किया है ठीक है यस हो क्या रहा है फर्स्ट डे इतना रह गया पहले दिन के ट्रीटमेंट में दूसरा दिन का ट्रीटमेंट तीसरे दिन का ट्रीटमेंट इमेज इन द सिचुएशन दैट दीज माइक्रोब्स ऑलरेडी सर्वाइव्ड थ्री डेज यू आर ट्राइंग टू किल देम ओके यू आर शूटिंग देम यस और नो 
एंटीबायोटिक्स आर नथिंग बट दी गन दैट यू हैव यूजिंग टू किल देम बट दे आर मैनेज टू सर्वाइव एट थ्री डेज एंड यू स्टॉप टेकिंग मेडिसिन ऑन द थर्ड डे अब आपको लग रहा है कि खत्म हो गया समझो कि ये ऑलरेडी जो कि रेजिस्टेंट है तीन दिन की मेडिसिन के ये तो बच गए ना यार यहां पे ठीक है अब इनकी संख्या उत, उतनी नहीं बची लेकिन बच तो गए ना अब नेक्स्ट टाइम ये जो इन्फेक्शन करेंगे वो कितना ज्यादा होगा या नहीं होगा पहले से क्योंकि आपने बीच में ही छोड़ दिया ना ये तीन दिन के मेडिसिन के रेजिस्टेंट ऑलरेडी हैं है ना तो अब नेक्स्ट टाइम जो इन्फेक्शन होगा वो शुरू से नहीं होगा वो इनका होगा विच इज ऑलरेडी डेवलप्ड सम सोर्ट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंट यस और नो क्लियर हुआ ना पक्का ये यहीं पे आपने यदि चौथे दिन की ले लेती तो ये इतना बचता और पांचवें दिन में ये पूरा खत्म हो जाता तो आपके बॉडी के अंदर कोई भी माइक्रोबियल बचता ही नहीं बट नाउ दिस सर्वाइव इन साइड योर बॉडी नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट टर्न वेन एवर दे विल गेट चांस दे विल इन्फेक्ट योर बॉडी इन अ डिफरेंट मैनर एंड देव हैव चांसेस दो मेडिसिन दैट यू हैव यूजिंग इन योर फर्स्ट इन्फेक्शन दो मेडिसिन मे नोट वर्क इन दी सेकेंड टाइम Yes or no? Because they already survived with those medicines that you were using. This particular thing is known as antimicrobial resistance. Is it okay? Phenomena, अच्छे से clear हुआ है ये वाला, है ना? Microorganism, ये कुछ data है. Microorganism that develops antimicrobial resistance are sometimes referred as superbug. Now, what is superbug? again now these organism okay these bacteria or these these micro organism which is already developed a resistance again against the drugs that you were using du during your first infection now this particular micro organism is resistant against फर्स्ट लाइन ड्रग यस ओ नो फर्स्ट लाइन ड्रग मीन्स दैट यू हैव यूज ड्यूरिंग यूर फर्स्ट इन्फेक्शन नाउ ऑल दो ड्रग्स आर नॉट वर्किंग यू आर टेकिंग मेडिसिन बट इन्फेक्शन जा ही नहीं रहा है ओके दिस इज दी रेजिस्टेंस ओके अगेंस्ट द फर्स्ट लाइन ड्रग अब आपने क्या किया नाउ You started using second line drug. Second line drug. Again, you did the same thing. पांच से छह दिन खाना था आपने फिर से उसको तीन दिन में खा के छोड़ दिया You yourself, okay, helped that particular माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म टू डेवलप रेजिस्टेंट अगेंस्ट द सेकेंड लाइन ड्रग एज वेल ओके सेम चीज हो हो ही जाएगी ना नाउ फर्स्ट लाइन ड्रग इज ऑलरेडी इन इफेक्टिव ऑन दो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म नाउ सेकेंड लाइन ड्रग इज ऑल्सो इन इफेक्टिव नाउ साइंटिस्ट आर डेवलपिंग थर्ड लाइन ड्रग सपोज आपने सेम काम हम तो कर ही रहे हैं ना ये काम तो एंड हम ऊपर से उनको मौका दे ही रहे हैं एंड दे आर ऑल्सो म्यूट्रेटिंग यस बिकॉज सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट so they are also mutating and we are helping them to mutate yes so because of our irresponsible behavior in future what will happen then all the drugs that are present to treat that particular microbe okay all the drugs koi drug aisi bachi nahi hai jo usko treat kar sake which means aapki death ho jayegi kisse सिर्फ जुकाम से बिकॉज इट कैन नॉट बी ट्रीटेड यस ओ नो इट कैन नॉट बी ट्रीटेड दैट टाइप ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म विल नोन एज सुपर बग आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ओके दैट पर्टिकुलर माइक्रोब विल नोन एज सुपर बग यही है वो 
माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट डेवलप एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस आर समाइम्स रेफर्ड एज सुपर बग ठीक है कि अभी तक कोई डिजीज कोई ड्रग बची नहीं है जो इसको ट्रीट कर सके अभी रिसर्च चल रही है कि यार अब क्या लेकर के आए नया समझ गए क्या है अब देख लेते हैं कुछ डेटा इन इंडिया 56,000 न्यूबॉर्न डेथ्स ईच ईयर ड्यू टू द सेप्सिस कोस्ड बाय माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट आर रेजिस्टेंस टू द फर्स्ट लाइन एंटीबायोटिक एंड इन मेनी एरिया वेयर ओनली फर्स्ट लाइन एंटी माइक्रोबियल आर अवेलेबल ओके सेकेंड लाइन इज नॉट अवेलेबल एंड इन दैट केस द सेप्सिस इज कॉजिंग फिफ्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड डेथ पर ईयर ह्यूज डेटा यस सेकेंड आई सी एम आर इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ मेडिकल रिसर्च फ्रॉम टेन हॉस्पिटल शोज दैट वेन कोविड पेशेंट अक्वायर ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस इन्फेक्शन इन दी हॉस्पिटल द मोर्टेलिटी इज ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट ठीक है समझ रहे हो That is why WHO ने क्या कहा दैट डब्ल्यू एच ओ आइडेंटिफाइड ए एम आर एज वन ऑफ द टॉप टेन थ्रेट्स टू द ग्लोबल हेल्थ यस नेक्स्ट और क्या है ए एम आर इज इज द पर्टिकुलर कंसर्न इन द डेवलपिंग नेशन इंक्लूडिंग इंडिया वेर द बर्डन ऑफ इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज इज हाई एंड हेल्थ केयर स्पेंडिंग इज लो इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज आप देख ही लो Infectious disease is endemic to India. Now we are in a time. अब ये time आ गया है that you will be witnessing the cases of dengue in Delhi. Yes or no? बस ये time आ गया है. अब कुछ दिनों में एक हफ्ते के बाद ही आपको पता चलने लगेगा कि इतना dengue हो गया, ये हो गया, वो हो गया. ठीक है? Dengue क्या है? Infectious disease है, vector borne disease है, viral disease है. Yes or no? ठीक है, so especially with respect to India, और क्या है, India is amongst the nation with the highest burden of the bacterial infection. ये कुछ और data दिया हुआ है that five common microbes found in the culture, Escherichia coli, Calcibilia, Pneumonia, Pseudomonas, Anguinoso, ऐसी क्या है, ऐसी Nettobacter, Baumani and Streptococcus aureus. All these bacteria already developed microbial resistant. Okay. India, with its combination of large population, rising income that facilitate purchase of antibiotic. Antibiotic, thodi si mangi aati hai, hai na? Thodi si mangi aayegi. High burden of infectious disease and easy over the counter access to the antibiotic. Easy over the counter access. आप जाओगे वो खुद से आपको दे देगा या आप मांग लोगे without any prescription. Yes, easy over the counter access is an important locus for the generation of resistance gene, such as gene help bacteria in surviving on being exposed to antibiotic. Yes, antibiotic resistance infection are the significant cause of neonatal mortality. That is in 2019, nearly three lakh deaths in India. were attributed to the antibiotic resistance infection including tens of thousands of newborn unme se 50000 to sirf sepsis ki wajah se mare hain bacche overall death kitni hai 3 lakh theek hai ek aur hai all antibiotics tb medicine and some habit forming drugs to be brought under the new schedule that is h1 packaging to be a rx symbol in the red color and a warning about Taking the medicine without the medical advice or selling without the prescription. आपने देखा हो तो जो medicine का वो आता आता है उस पे ये RX symbol और red वाला बना रहता है. Sir, can you tell in English, sir? Red एक strip होती है. Yes, there is a red strip on that particular medicine. Okay, which is the antiviral, antimicrobial or antibiotic. ठीक है? Then why it is important? Overuse leading to antimicrobial resistance due to AMR. Many diseases now need to be treated with the second or third line. Worrying statistics. क्या है? Fifty three percent of the patient use antibiotic without prescription. This is the first thing. How many? Fifty three percent, including us. 
okay in fact i have used uh, that azithromycin last week okay without prescription despite knowing despite knowing the fact that we should not use it okay so people like us who are literate who are knowing the fact that this can lead to the amr but still we are using okay without prescription this is a big issue now 25% of the physician give antibiotic to children with any fever 23% clueless about the antibiotic use in such cases why because almost 50% of the total doctors are in in india who are prescribing the prescribing the medicines are not having that legal uh medical qualification to carry out their practice 50% of them are quacks hai na unko quacks bolte hain yes 50% especially in the small town especially in the rural area they are not having a legal qualification to practice medicine 18% save uh, unused antibiotic for the later yes wohi teen din le lo abhi yes or no you are completing that prescription for 3 days and you are saving for the next term okay 18% 25% physician advise patient to discontinue antibiotic once they are better an important cause of amr this is a big issue why because antibiotics are costly okay so many a times doctors are also advising that you should stop after 3 to 4 days okay this is a big issue then 47% will change doctor if she he or she does not prescribe <laughs> antibiotic another issue okay so no amr surveillance program in india few quality assured labs insufficient data analysis etc these are the big issue okay a study reported icmr we, we have already discussed that according to global research on anti antimicrobial resistance 1.27 million people died in 2019 as a direct result of amr and in india 3 lakh deaths yes overall 3 lakh deaths of children dead due to amr is now a leading cause of death worldwide higher than hiv and malaria that is why we are discussing amr yes next most of the deaths from amr were caused by the lower respiratory infection such as pneumonia blood stream infection which can lead to the sepsis okay पढ़ लेना एक बार इंडिया इज दर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट कंज्यूमर ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक वाई वी नो द फैक्ट ओके वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इट यूज ऑफ द ड्रग्स हैज मोर देन डबल इन बिटवीन टू थाउजेंड एंड टू टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन वाई बिकॉज इजी अवेलेबिलिटी ओके नो प्रिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द डॉक्टर इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड दोज पीपल हु आर ऑपरेटिंग दोज मेडिकल स्टोर आई मेकिंग प्रॉफिट आउट ऑफ इट सिंपल है ना यही सब चल रहा है अगेंस्ट अ ग्लोबल एंटीबायोटिक इंक्रीज ऑफ सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट इन इंडिया इट इज रिपोर्टेड वन जीरो थ्री परसेंट इंक्रीज ठीक सो यूज दिस डेटा वेर एवर यू वॉन्ट ओके एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एम ए एम आर इन इंडिया दीज आर सम ऑफ दी पेथोजेंस फर्स्ट वन इज कार्बे पेनम रेजिस्टेंस Carbapenem is one of the antibiotic. Okay, Acinetobacter benumani. This bacterium causes severe infection like pneumonia, urinary tract infection, sepsis. In a study, over ninety-two percent of the cases of bacterial infection with Acinetobacter benumani were resistant to the carbapenem antibiotic. And carbapenem antibiotic is the second-line drug, not the first-line drug. okay so the pneumonia or sepsis or urinary tract infection caused by acinetobacter bomani is now uh, now become untreatable we can say yes or no because second line drug to already kya ho gayi hai 
रेजिस्टेंस हो गई है देन मेथिसिन रेजिस्टेंस स्ट्रेपी लोकस और एम आर एस ए इस इज अ कॉमन कॉज ऑफ हॉस्पिटल अक्वायर्ड इन्फेक्शन इन इंडिया इट इज रेजिस्टेंस थ्रू मल्टीपल एंटीबायोटिक मेकिंग इट चेंजिंग टू ट्वीट ओके दिस इज दी सेकेंड पॉइंट एम आर एस ए देन थर्ड मल्टी ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस ट्यूबरकुलोसिस एम डी आर टीबी We will discuss that TB. Okay, pure अच्छे से देखेंगे. Then ESBL and then E. coli, Calcibilia pneumoniae. Okay, or with details में यहाँ पे दिया हुआ है. You should go with it. ठीक है? These are the uh, WHO ask industry to ramp effort to make newer drugs which can fight antibiotic resistant bacteria. Okay. Now. efforts to combat amr in india so india implemented national action plan on amr to promote rational use of antibiotics strengthen infection control measure what is the rational use rational use first without the prescription of doctor from now onwards we will not take antibiotic first second we will complete the complete course okay this is the second this is the rational use basically okay second icmrs amr surveillance network this is the second okay third antimicrobial stewardship program has have now been implemented in the hospital to ensure the judicious use of antibiotic these program are tailored for the resource limited setting and aims to reduce the unnecessary antibiotic description and the last one is delhi declaration of A on amr and one health approach so i am introducing one more concept here that is one health approach okay i will give passing reference here okay but in some other lecture we will discuss it in a complete manner because upsc asked one question on one health approach and that was in the news our, our prime minister also suggested this particular approach so what is one health approach according to you one health approach samne hi likha hua hai aapke dekho to isko ek bar human health animal health are interdependent at the same time both dependent on the environment so basically human health animal health or environmental health they are interdependent okay in one of the current affairs class we have discussed one thing that we are excessively using diclofenac diclofenac is one of the drug diclofenac is one of the drug that volini that we used to spray ki yahan pe kuch lag gayi ya kuch ho gaya to volini yes if you read uh, the drug in the volini it is nothing but the diclofenac okay this particular drug is also used in the in the what animal okay because just like we are having pain animals will also subjected to pain so this particular drug that is diclofenac is used in the animal now what happened i have already discussed it but let's discuss one more time so basically these are the animal you are using diclofenac especially in the cattle okay cattle okay now this particular cattle died okay so you will not cremate this particular cattle you will throw it this particular dead body in the open space yes or no so you are throwing that particular cattle in the open space in this open space who will eat that particular body vultures yes or no vultures will eat now that particular diclofenac which you gave to the cattle 
in order to treat the pain of the cattle now that diclofenac entered into the vulture yes or no via this particular dead body yes now this diclofenac is causing heart failure in vultures and because of that population of vulture is declining and is declining up to that extent that many of the species of vulture became critically endangered they are on the brink of extinction okay this is the one cycle now imagine a situation that the vultures are not eating this particular dead body then who will going to eat this particular dead body other animal who are the other animal dogs yes dogs will eat that dogs are getting more nutrition yes or no because they because of the availability of more food for them okay favorable condition for dog in this favorable because their competitor is eliminated yes in the elimination of their competitor their population will proliferate or not their population will increase or not so dogs will proliferate their population will will increase now dogs are the carrier of dogs are the carrier of yes rabies virus rabies virus yes and they are having close contact with human is it okay so because of that they are spreading rabies in the human okay and because of that at least 20000 death per year due to rabies in india reported because rabies is fatal disease no cure for rabies is it okay no cure one health approach environment animal health and human intricately connected with each other yes or no animal health bhi aa gaya environment bhi aa gaya and human health okay all the three things are interconnected with each other just because of diclofenac that we used in the animal what happened on the one hand it led to the declining of population of vulture on the other hand it led to the increase of population of dogs and which led to increasing the number of cases of rabies and rabies is incurable so more number of deaths due to rabies okay this is one health approach aap bana lo isko hai na whenever one health approach question is asked this is the best example to use there so basically we are this is nothing but the human health yes human health this is nothing but the this entire diagram is nothing but environment plus animal health hai na environment health plus animal health hence they are interconnected is it okay done with this bacha hai jaldi look these are the current affairs classes which are where we are not discussing uh, basic things okay these classes are meant for your quality enrichment okay to main yahan pe basic nahi padhaunga aapko yes i am expecting that you all have some sort of knowledge of environment okay economy science and tech theek hai na to ye wali classes waisi hi hongi jo aapki quality ke liye hongi theek hai kyunki yahan pe main basic padha nahi sakta ab aapko ki what what it means to have critical endangered status and all is it okay 
after class give the question on these topic uh basically whatever the topics that we are discussing today these are not important for mains these are important for prelims basically okay yeah but one health approach can be asked in mains so key points on amr okay like antimicrobial a simple overview antibiotics for bacteria antivirals for viruses antifungal for fungi and antiparasitic for parasites okay natural process amr is a natural phenomena that happens over the time through genetic changes in the microorganism why because of the because of that survival instinct that is survival of the fittest second accelerated human activity the misuse and overuse of antimicrobials in human animal and plants significantly accelerate the development of drug resistance pathogen we have already discussed that this is the second cause third cause global health threat the amr is recognized as one of the top global public health we have already discussed and impact on the modern medicine amr jeopardizes the effectiveness of the treatment for the common infection and complicates the medical procedure like surgeries and cancer treatment because simple because of amr simple infections are becoming very hard to treat the same thing that cough that we are having okay that will extend up to one week or two week hai na wo chalta jayega okay next addressing the amr we have already discussed that addressing first prevention preventive infection through good hygiene vaccination infection control measure appropriate use then innovation new drugs should be developed because amr is also a natural phenomena so we should have to be prepared for the next okay next infection or next cycle of infection that is we should prepare third line drug yes this is the second thing research development public awareness etc antimicrobial resistance is significant and far reaching consequences what are the health consequences mortality and morbidity amr leads to higher rates of severe illness and deaths in 2019 bacterial amr was directly responsible for 1.27 million deaths globally and contributed to 4.5 million deaths ठीक डेटा बहुत सारा दिया हुआ है जो भी याद रहे रख लो ट्रीटमेंट चैलेंज इन्फेक्शन बिकम्स हार्डर टू ट्रीट रिक्वायरिंग मोर इंपोर्टेंट एंड ऑफन मोर टॉक्सिक मेडिकेशन ओके दिस कैन लीड टू लॉन्गर इलनेस ड्यूरेशन एंड मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ट्रीटमेंट रेजीम देन कॉम्प्लिकेशन इन मेडिकल प्रोसीजर ए एम आई मेक्स रूटीन सर्जरी कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट एंड अदर मेडिकल प्रोसीजर रिस्कियर ड्यू टू द इनक्रीज चांसेस ऑफ अनट्रीटेबल इन्फेक्शन ओके सो मोर्टेलिटी मॉर्बिडिटी इंक्रीज ट्रीटमेंट चैलेंज इंक्रीज कॉम्प्लिकेशन इन द मेडिकल प्रोसीजर इंक्रीज इकोनॉमिक कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस नाउ इफ द सेम डिजीज विल बी प्रोलॉन्ग देन इकोनॉमिक कॉस्ट विल बी मोर वी हैव सिंपल यस सो increased healthcare cost economic burden kitna data diya hai the world bank estimates that the amr could result into the additional healthcare cost up to up to 1 trillion dollar samajh gaye because of because just we are using antibiotics if responsibly okay social consequences impact on livelihood because the prolonged illness and increased healthcare cost can lead to the financial strain on the family and communities global health inequalities low and medium income countries are disproportionately affected by amr okay this is the funny diagram 10 year challenge yes here is the antibiotic but in the 10 years now that antibiotic become ineffective yes because virus developed the resistance okay environmental consequences okay ye ho gaya last point hai that is without urgent action the world is heading towards 
एंटीबायोटिक एपोकलिप्स अ फ्यूचर विदाउट एंटीबायोटिक्स विदाउट विथ बैक्टीरिया बिकमिंग कंप्लीटली रेजिस्टेंट टू द ट्रीटमेंट एंड वेन कॉमन इन्फेक्शन एंड माइनर इंजरीज कुड वंस अगेन किल so we will reach to the same state from where we started yes yes or no no medicines were there okay and we developed some of the medicines to treat those diseases yes so we we can again reach to the same state if that apocalypse will going to happen we have already discussed that now tuberculosis we have completed that antimicrobial resistant if you want to write one question for mains then write it what is antimicrobial resistance what is antimicrobial resistance how it is posing how it is posing challenges to the global health and what are the initiatives <clears throat> so within the antimicrobial resistance okay antimicrobial resistance is the bigger term okay one of the challenge within the antimicrobial resistance is drug resistance tb it is one of the biggest uh, public health concern for india okay so first thing what is tb according to you some of the basic information that first tb is the bacterial disease first second name the bacteria which cause tb likha hua hai myco kya hai mycobacterium tuberculosis okay the third part tb in fact which part it primarily affects the okay primarily so that is why tb is of two type one is pulmonary tb which is nothing but the affecting the lungs pulmonary tb and the second one is extra pulmonary tb which means tb is affecting your kidney tb is affecting your brain tb is affecting um, in females ovaries yes tb is affecting liver etc so first one is pulmonary and second one is extra pulmonary okay second thing transmission airborne maine cheeka mujhe tb thi now it will be transferred okay so airborne disease hai tb spread through the air when infected person cough sneezes speaks or sings people nearby can inhale the bacteria and become infected okay which means we all have infected with tb or not we are infected with tb how many are you agree with me not agree or agree agree because we all have infected with tb basically but why we are not showing symptoms of tb not resistant we are not micro organism yes because of our immunity but what if that immunity will be compromised in those cases we will start showing symptoms of tb okay in most of the cases hota kya hai when any person will be infected with hiv we will discuss that in some other classes what is hiv human immuno deficiency virus yes that will destroy your immunity that particular virus will destroy your immunity now you have immunity is not working yes gradual decrease in your immunity and that particular disease will be known as aids acquired immuno deficiency syndrome you have immune your immunity will be destroyed or decreased up to that extent that the small infection can cause death that is the disease hiv is one of the virus and that can cause aids aids is the disease 
इज इट ओके ओके इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन इफ एनी वन अक्वायर्स एड्स ड्यू टू एच आई वी वायरस हिस इम्यूनिटी इज कंप्लीटली कॉम्प्रोमाइज इन दैट केस दैट लेटेंट टीबी वायरस विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द पेशेंट विल स्टार्ट शोइंग देयर पावर यस ओ नो बिकॉज हिस इम्यून हिस इम्यून सिस्टम विल नॉट बी वर्किंग अगेंस्ट दो टीबी ओके दैट इज वाई वन इज एयर बोर्न एंड अनदर वन इज लेटेंट Latent means not everyone infected with TB bacteria becomes sick. People with latent TB infection do not show symptom and are not contagious, but they can develop active TB disease in future. And what is the situation? This is the situation. Okay, disease. Okay, AIDS is the disease. where people will not die with the hiv people will die with some other infection why because your immune system is already compromised now tb bacteria okay those tb bacteria will becomes difficult to kill so that person will die because of tb that person will die because of pneumonia that person will die because of some other viral infection or bacterial infection okay what hiv did to his body hiv yes um, make uh, that particular person immunocompromised yes diagnosis these are the test uh, such question can be asked in your state pscs okay like ye bahut common test hai ye aapka bhi hua hoga hua hai kya aaj tak montesk test when you will visit uh, any particular medical uh, medicine professional then he will give you one injection here here okay yahan pe wo injection dega then he will mark that particular place where he injected that drug with the pain okay and he will say that come to me after one or two days उसके बेसिस पे वो बता देगा कि आपको टीबी है या नहीं है दिस पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट इज नोन एज मोन्टेस्क मोन्टेक्स टेस्ट अदर टेस्ट आर ऑल्सो देर लाइक स्पटम कल्चर इंटरफेर गामा रिलीज ऐसे एक्सरे एटसेट्रा ओके ट्रीटमेंट एंटीबायोटिक्स सिंपल और एंटीबैक्टीरियल एंटीबायोटिक सेम द टीबी इज ट्रीटेड विद द कोर्स ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ एटलीस्ट सिक्स मंथ द मोस्ट कॉमन ड्रग इज ये क्वेश्चन भी पूछा हुआ है आइसोनाजिड एफाम्पिसिन एथाम म्यूटो एथाम बुटोल एंड पायरा जेनामाइट इज इट ओके प्रवेंशन दीज आर एंटीबायोटिक ओके इफ यू अक्वायर्ड टीबी फ्रॉम समवेयर एल्स देन दीज ड्रग्स आर यूज बट आपने सुना होगा बीसीजी के वैक्सीन बच्चों को लगा दिए दिस इज वन टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर प्रिवेंशन आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट और नॉट एंटीबायोटिक एंड वैक्सीन आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग वैक्सीन आर गिवन टू प्रिवेंट द डिजीज एंड एंटीबायोटिक्स और एंटी बैक्टीरियल और एंटी मलेरियल और एंटी वायरल दीज आर द ड्रग्स विच आर गिवन टू द person who already acquired any disease yes so one is the preventive strategy that is vaccine and one is the curative strategy that is antibiotic is it okay so vaccine for tb is bcg vaccine okay bcg vaccine provide protection against tb especially in the children so har bacche ko bcg vaccine lagti hai theek hai public health measure early detection and treatment of active tb along with the screening and prevention therapy for high risk group are crucial in controlling the spread of tb tb remains a significant global health challenge but with the proper treatment it can be managed theek okay? hai now drug resistant tb what is drug resistant tb simple drug resistant tb tb means that particular bacteria developed 
resistant against the first line drug. What was the first line drug? <coughs> Occurs when the bacteria that causes TB resistant to the drug used to treat the infection. So, this may be. ये दो टाइप के हैं ड्रग रेजिस्टेंट टीबी एक तो यहां पे भी दिया है यहां पे भी जिसमें भी आपको देखना है मल्टी ड्रग रेजिस्टेंट टीबी मींस दिस फॉर्म ऑफ टीबी रेजिस्टेंट टू एट लीस्ट आइसोनायाजिड एंड रेपाम्पिसिन टू मोस्ट पावरफुल फर्स्ट लाइन एंटी टीबी ड्रग यस तो इट बिकेम मल्टी ड्रग रेजिस्टेंट टीबी देन extensively drug resistance tb which is this is the more severe form of mdr tb resistance to isoniazid rifampicin plus any fluoroquinolone and at least one of the second line injectable drug like uh, amikacin kenamycin and capriomycin okay and the last one is vifampicin resistant TB. TB that is resistant to vifampicin with or without resistance to other drug. So basically these are, these two are cause of concern. One is TB. The second one is MDRTB. And the third one is, third one is XDRTB. Which one is difficult to cure? Simple. XDRTB or last one is totally drug resistance. Totally drug resistance TB. TDR TB. Which means resistance to all first and second line TB drug. Okay. Why TB is the cause of concern? Because. Kya likha hua hai humne? Iska jo prevention hai wo 6 mahine tak chalta hai. Antibiotics over the period of six months. Okay, so you have to make that discipline of having all the medicines for six months continuously. And if you are having any gap, then the entire treatment will become null and void. And then you, you will develop drug resistance TB. This is the big cause of concern. That is why in most of the cases, TB is turning into MDR-TB. Because it will be for 6 months, of course. What will happen? One day you will get a gap, and then TB will turn into MDR-TB, then XDR-TB and TDR-TB. Is it okay? No issue with this? Remember the name of one or two drugs. Isoniazid. Vifampicin. Okay? First line drug. Then causes. Again, same thing. Incomplete. Okay? Second, incorrect prescription. And drug resistance TB can be transmitted from person to person just like drug sensitive TB. Consequences. Treatment complexity, higher mortality and economic burden. We have already discussed that. India's effort. Pradhan Mantri, TB Mukta Bharat Abhiyan, Ministry of Health Education started one program and aimed to eliminate TB by 2025. Provide additional patient support to improve treatment outcomes of TB patient. Augment community involvement in the meeting India's commitment to end TB by 2025 and which will leverage CSR initiative. What is CSR initiative? Corporate social responsibility in some of the classes we have, we will discuss that also. What is CSR? Aap to abhi abhi start kiya hai, aapko pata nahi hoga. Baaki koi or. What is CSR? Corporate social responsibility. Have you done with economic classes? No? Okay, then let's move on. Okay. In your economic classes, you will discuss what is CSR. Okay. Corporate. Corporate means private players. Social means social responsibility. So basically, it is the responsibility of corporate player business houses as well to spend some of their profit for the welfare of the society. Okay. Which is nothing but the corporate social responsibility. 
ठीक है इसके बहुत सारे प्रोविजन है देखेंगे आप अदर थिंग लाइक कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री टीबी मुक्त भारत अभियान फर्स्ट वन इज निक्षय मित्रा इनिशिएटिव इट इज टू एंश्योर द एडिशनल डायग्नोस्टिक न्यूट्रिशनल एंड वोकेशनल सपोर्ट टू दो टीबी ट्रीटमेंट निक्षय मित्रा दैट इज द डोनर आर दो कैन सपोर्ट बाय अडोप्टिंग हेल्थ फेसिलिटीज फॉर इंडिविजुअल डोनर ब्लॉक्स और अर्बन वार्ड डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टेट फॉर एक्सेलरेटिंग रिस्पॉन्स अगेंस्ट द टीबी टू कंप्लीट कॉम्प्लीमेंट द गवर्नमेंट एफर्ट सपोज टाटा टाटा एज ए कंपनी इज डूइंग सी एस आर ओके इज हैविंग सम सी एस आर ऑब्लिगेशन एंड दे आर अडोप्टिंग दे आर अडोप्टिंग एन एंटायर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट द एफर्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट सो दैट पर्टिकुलर कंपनी और दैट पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल विल बी नोन एज निक्षय मित्रा देन निक्षय डिजिटल पोर्टल क्षय मीन्स होता है इन हिंदी ओके क्षय मीन्स होता है टीबी और है ना उसको इंग्लिश में टीबी बोलते हैं हिंदी में क्षय रोग बोलते हैं ठीक है निक्षय डिजिटल पोर्टल इट विल प्रोवाइड अ प्लेटफॉर्म फ्रॉम फॉर कम्युनिटी सपोर्ट टू द पर्सन विद द टीबी देन निक्षय पोषण योजना निक्षय पोषण योजना वॉज लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड एंड एटीन बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर it aims to support every tb patient by providing direct benefit transfer of rupee 500 per month for nutritional need since its inception around 1488 crore has been paid to the 5.73 million notified beneficiaries and as per india's tb report 2022 only 62.1% notified cases across the country received at least one payment in 2021 some of the data apart from that national strategic plan for tuberculosis and elimination which was started in 2017 and target okay tb harega desh jeetega campaign and report india one of the report okay so this is all about tb drug resistance tb is it okay this particular segment was not related to your mains okay tb is entirely related to your prelims okay so what is tb bacterial disease airborne disease name the bacteria micro mycobacterium tuberculosis yes uh what is the vaccine bcg what is the antibiotic isoniazide rifampicin yes two okay and if you are discontinuing the prescription then it will lead to the mdr tb then it will further lead to xdr tb and it will further lead to tdr totally drug resistant tb is it okay now the difference between vaccine and difference between a difference between a vaccine and antibiotic so vaccine and antibiotic both are crucial tool to fight against the infectious disease but they work in a fundamentally different way the first thing the purpose vaccine are designed to prevent the disease to prevent the disease which means vaccines are given especially to the children hai na abhi unko 6 se 12 vaccine lagti hai bachcho ko why prevent the disease hai na so they stimulate the immune system to recognize and fight specific pathogens viruses or bacteria before they can cause illness okay bcg vaccine is already given to the children so when in future that particular children inhale okay inhales and the bacteria of tb is entering into his body then vaccine is already there immune system is already trained that immune system will fight against those upcoming bacteria okay so latent tb will be there but there will be no effect because his immune system is already prepared to fight against that tb is it okay second mechanism vaccine introduced harmless component of pathogen like protein inactivated virus weakened bacteria into the body this triggers an immune response teaching the body to recognize and combat the pathogen in the future okay in some other class okay we will discuss the detailed mechanism of live attenuated vaccine inactivated killed 
सब यूनिट टॉक्सोइड एन आवेने बेस्ड वैक्सीन आज इतना टाइम नहीं था तो हम इनके डिटेल में नहीं जा रहे हैं आज सिर्फ एक ऊपर ऊपर से पढ़ देते हैं है ना कहीं और न्यूज में आएगा देन वी विल डिस्कस दैट ऑल्सो इज इट ओके दैट वट आर द मेथड बिकॉज वैक्सीन आर प्रिपेयर बाय यूजिंग प्रोटीन इनएक्टिवेटेड वायरस वीकंड बैक्टीरिया इन्फेक्टेड डीएनए ओके डीएनए बेस्ड वैक्सीन आर ऑल्सो देयर सो इन टू द बॉडी दैट ट्रिगर द इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स टीचिंग द बॉडी टू रिकोगनाइज एंड कॉम्बेट द पैथोजन वट आर द टाइप्स सो दीज आर द टाइप्स Live attenuated vaccine. In fact, oral polio vaccine we have discussed in the class. Oral polio vaccine. Yes. What is OPV? OPV is nothing but the weakened polio virus. जो बच्चों को पकड़ के पिला देते हैं ना वो दो बूंद जिंदगी वाली. Yes. That two bunds zindagi is nothing but the weakened polio virus. Okay. And when those virus entering into the body of any child. then it will trigger immune system and that immune system will develop one particular type of immune response against polio virus so in future when wild polio virus attacks that particular body immune system is already prepared to fight against that infection is it okay ye mechanism hota hai vaccine ka basically so vaccines are of these type so for you have state psc or for you have upsc if you are not knowing the mechanism it is completely fine just know the name these five names and types of vaccines like toxoid tetanus diphtheria toxoid so that tetanus injection that usually uh, prescribed by doctor when kuch bhi aapka aisa accident hota hai jahan kuch cut fat jata hai aapka yes or no so at that time doctor will prescribe that just have a tetanus so that vaccine is nothing but the toxoid some of the rna based vaccine okay non replicating in vivo self replicating in vivo dendritic cell basically rna based vaccine aap likh sakte ho it is nothing but the covid 19 vaccine rna based vaccine sub unit vaccine inko lekar ke hai theek hai pneumonocal pcv7 pcv10 P hepatitis b okay inactivated whole cell uh, pertussis inactivated polio inactivated live attenuated oral polio vaccine missile rotavirus okay one more type dna dna vaccine ye bhi covid 19 vaccine thi covid 19 why i am making you write all these type because upsc in 2022 mains science and tech this question was asked that what are the principles that involved in the manufacturing of the vaccine that was the question what are the principles so these are the principle first principle is live attenuated vaccine first second inactivated vaccine third sub unit vaccine four toxoid vaccine fifth rna based vaccine six is dna based vaccine these are the six principles which are involved in the making of or manufacturing of vaccines is it okay so vaccine is nothing but the preventive mechanism of any disease okay you are focusing on prevention and because we are focusing on prevention then it is the duty of the government to give that vaccine at a very early age to the children okay so that in future that children will not acquire any disease yes or no and because of that one of the most uh, famous program of government is is going on which is known as mission indradhanush mission indradhanush okay just read that particular thing from any way you want 12 vaccine preventable vaccine preventable disease vaccines are given to the children in this particular program vaccine preventable disease okay 12 vaccines are given free of cost it is the target of the government of india 
mission Indraveenush. I believe this particular program was known as Universalization Immunization Program. UIP was there, but now is it? It is enough for you to remember Mission Indraveenush and those twelve vaccine preventable vac uh, disease. कि किस किस के लिए ये वैक्सीन दे रहे हैं ठीक है एक बार देख लेना वो बारह वैक्सीन के नाम आपको याद होने चाहिए बारह डिजीजेस के नाम ठीक है ओके सो दिस इज द वैक्सीन नाउ दिस इज एंटीबायोटिक व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक सो एंटीबायोटिक्स आर यूज टू ट्रीट द बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन दैट हैव ऑलरेडी अकर्ड यस already occurred like tb already occurred now you are taking that prescription which is prescribed by the doctor so which is already occurred mechanism antibiotic work by killing bacteria or inhibiting their growth they target a specific bacterial function or structure such as cell wall synthesis or protein production okay although this question was not asked by upsc okay earlier this question was asked by upsc but this question was not asked by upsc so right now i am not suggesting you to remember all these things okay but in future classes okay again if this particular thing will come in the news again then we will discuss the detailed mechanism of types of antibiotics as well but for sure isko to hum karenge ek एक बार डिस्कस क्योंकि ये पूछा हुआ है यूपीएससी ने ठीक है सो मैकेनिज्म एंटीबायोटिक वर्क वर्क बाय किलिंग बैक्टीरिया और इनहिबिटिंग देयर ग्रोथ दे टारगेट स्पेसिफिक बैक्टीरियल फंक्शन स्ट्रक्चर सच एज सेल वॉल सिंथेसिस प्रोटीन प्रोडक्शन टाइप्स क्या है दीस आर द टाइप्स बी लैक्टेमस एमिनो ग्लाइकोसाइड्स ओके ग्लाइकोपेप्टाइड्स एनसेमिटिस एनसेमाइसिनस क्विनोलोन्स है ना बहुत सारे हैं सो नो नीड टू रिमेंबर दैट ओके देन की डिफरेंस प्रिवेंशन एंड ट्रीटमेंट वन इज यूज फॉर प्रिवेंशन अनदर वन इज यूज फॉर ट्रीटमेंट टारगेट वैक्सीन कैन टारगेट बोथ वायरसेस एंड बैक्टीरिया बट एंटीबायोटिक्स आर ओनली फॉर द बैक्टीरिया वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट यूजेज वैक्सीन आर टिपिकली गिवन टू द प्रिवेंटिव मेजर ऑफन इन द चाइल्डहुड और बिफोर एक्सपोजर टू द सर्टेन डिजीज but antibiotics are prescribed when the bacterial infection is diagnosed understanding these differences help in this medical tools appropriately to maintain health and combat disease effectively ha huh. one more point that is how it uh, how quickly does it work vaccine will take time one or two week after vaccination but antibiotic will give immediate result है ना फर्स्ट थिंग सेकंड हाउ लॉन्ग विल प्रोटेक्ट प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम वैक्सीन विल लास्ट फॉर लाइफ टाइम बट फॉर ओनली फोर मंथ ठीक है दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दैट वैक्सीन एंटीबायोटिक एंटीमाइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस एटसेट्रा इज इट क्लियर टू यू एनी डाउट इन दिस नो कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर यस द नेक्स्ट थिंग that was in the news that government to continue universal supply of fortified rice say says anemia remains a wide spread issue now what is food fortification food fortification very good very good any other student what is food fortification नहीं कभी नहीं सुना सच में नहीं सुना फूड फोर्टिफिकेशन एनी वन नो फूड फोर्टिफिकेशन इज नथिंग बट द स्ट्रेटेजी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट टू रिड्यूस द इंसिडेंसेस ऑफ मेल न्यूट्रिशन दैट वी आर फेसिंग लाइक एनीमिया स्टंटिंग वेस्टिंग एटसेट्रा व्हाई दीज diseases or we can say these public health crises are there because of the micro nutrients deficiency such as vitamins minerals etc most of the time jo inhone kaha that uh, vitamin a deficiency is there 
in all of us vitamin a de deficiency will be there and because of that government is fortifying milk with the vitamin a okay why milk is chosen by the government or rice or milk something like this because everyone is consuming such things here yeah? yes or no everyone is consuming okay apart from that there there is one more reason we will discuss that so first thing what is food fortification according to uh according to fasai that is the food security and standard authority of india which is giving the definition that deliberately increasing the content of the essential micronutrients essential micronutrients some of the nutrients are macronutrients and some of them are micronutrients micronutrients are vitamins minerals macro are protein carbohydrates yes or no protein carbohydrates and fats these are macronutrients and these are micronutrients vitamins and minerals is it okay so deliberately increasing the content of the essential micronutrients food fortification means micronutrients not the macronutrients hai na micronutrients in a food so as to improve the nutritional quality of the food to provide public health benefit with the minimal risk to health is it okay just like rice oats grain they can be fortified milk and dairy product can be fortified noodles chips cereals breads they can be fortified processed beverages can be fortified or canned goods can be fortified in fact oils that we used edible oils that can also be fortified okay so government can fortify deliberately increasing the micronutrients in a food is nothing but the food fortification is it okay food fortification is the process of adding essential vitamins minerals to the food to improve the nutritional value this can include adding nutrients like iron iron ki kami yes because of that the deficiency of iron in india more than 55% of the total female are facing anemia yes so iron iodine because of iodine deficiency you have uh, that pituitary gland thyroid gland thyroid gland uh, will become malfunctioning okay and because of the malfunctioning of the thyroid gland you may suffer from uh, many disease one of the disease is that goiter hai na yes goiter theek hai so iodine then vitamin e then folic acid to commonly consume food such as rice wheat milk salt salt iodine yukt namak suna hai sabne humne hai na one of the most successful program hai wo one of the most successful food fortification program of the world that is iodine fortified salt yes kyunki sabhi khate hai na to iodine ki kami wahan se puri ho jati hai okay benefits of food fortification this is the logo yes this is the logo you can notice that this particular food is fortified or not is it okay now benefits of food fortification improve nutritional intake yes fortified food help to fill the nutritional gap in the diet especially the population that may no, not have access to the diverse range of food yes because you need vitamin a vitamin c vitamin d okay and if you are eating only dal chawal or dal roti then your diet is not a complete diet that will be having micro nutritional deficiency yes so how to complete that micro nutritional deficiency or how to fulfill that nutritional gap fortified food like use the oil which is fortified by vitamin a yes use the salt which is fortified by iodine just like this use the dairy product which is fortified by vitamin a vitamin d etc yes are you getting my point or not that particular thing is 
food fortification. So it improves the nutritional intake first, second, prevent deficiencies. Like it helps to prevent the common deficiencies such as anemia due to iron deficiency, goiter due to iodine deficiency, and rickets due to vitamin D deficiency. Okay. Most of the like vitamins are of two types some of the fat soluble and some of the water soluble. Fat soluble are A, D, E, K. Yes, vitamin A, D, E, and K. These are fat soluble vitamins. And water soluble vitamins are B and C. Most of the vitamin, like A, D, E, K, are fortified in the fat base, like milk, like oil. Why? Because they cannot be absorbed by the body if they are not dissolved in the fat. Yes, that is why in most uh, in most of the food fortification initiative, dairy products or we can say oil, they are fortified with the vitamin A and vitamin D. Okay, is it clear? Because it is fat soluble vitamin. Hai. Yes. Next thing, iron deficiency going to enhance public health. By improving the overall nutritional status of the population, food fortification can reduce the incident of disease related to nutrient deficiency. Like vitamin D deficiency, you may be subjected to rickets. De uh, vitamin A deficiency, night blindness. Hai na? These are the diseases. Cost effective, yes, it is the cost effective. Why? Because a strategy to improve public health compared to the other intervention like supplement. So rather than having supplement, you should have food fortified. Then restore nutri nutrients. Okay? These are the benefits. Food fortification while beneficial faces ch several challenges. Technical challenge, ensuring uniform distribution. Yes, uniform distribution should be there. Then Cost, the initial setup fortification process can be expensive. A regulatory and compliance issue. Establishing and enforcing a regulation for the food fortification can be complex. Ensuring compliance across the different region. Manufacturing requires the robust monitoring system. Monitoring is the big challenge. Consumer acceptance. There can be resistance from consumer who may be unaware of the benefit of the fortified food. Concern, uh, concerned about the changes in the taste, color and texture. Like many people are still preferring that uh, Himalayan salt or Sendha Namak or something like that. That is not fortified with the iodine. So those people who are having okay, iodine deficiency should not eat that particular salt. Hai na? Or we can use, okay, you are preferring that Himalayan salt. It is completely fine. But in between, you should also use iodine fortified salt. Otherwise, you will be subjected to iodine deficiency. Hai na? Ye hota hai. So many people prefer some different food. Okay. So nutrient interaction. Some of the nutrient can interact negatively with the, each other or with the food matrix affecting the stability and bioavailability of the added nutrient. The next equity issue, fortified food may not reach the most vulnerable population, such as those in the remote or impoverished area due to the distribution challenges. These are the challenges. Then potential negatives. What is the potential negative? Again, that same concept. Some of the vitamins are fat soluble. Some of the vitamins are water soluble a d e k they are fat soluble b and c water soluble water soluble vitamins if you are over consuming water soluble vitamins they will be washed away your kidney will extract them outside of your body but that thing is not possible in case of overdosage of a d e k because they are fat soluble they will not be flushed out of your body. So overconsumption of ADEK will lead to hypervitaminosis. This is another type of disease. Okay. Kya naam hai iska? Hypervitaminosis. Ye to A hai to, hai. But hypervitaminosis is the disease. Okay. 
which is nothing but the over consumption of which type of vitamin fat soluble vitamin okay hypervitamin vitam, uh, hypervitaminosis will not be caused by water soluble vitamin that is b and c it will be caused by fat soluble vitamin and because of that like hypervitaminosis a increased cerebral spinal pressure generalized weakness like fatigue headache then dermatological issues such as drying peeling itchy skin cracked lips upset stomach nausea vomiting hair loss nail infection bone and pain joint liver and spleen enlargement yes or no that is why over consumption of vitamin is also not good that is why many of the people suggest that don't take multivitamins okay artificially just eat nutritional food it will be having two benefits first you will not be subjected to overdose means there will be no hypervitaminosis first thing second thing the bioavailability of natural food is more than the bioavailability of artificial bioavailability ka matlab kya hota hai absorption of that particular that particular nutrient by your body okay so it is better to have paneer or it is better to have x rather than vitamin d supplement samajh gaye baat ko kyunki wo uska absorption kam hoga body mein getting my point or not hai na so because of hypervitaminosis many things can happen and hypervitaminosis is related to fat soluble vitamins hai na ye yaad rakhna hai hame ye pe hi main pooch sakte hain aapse that hypervitaminosis is related to fat soluble vitamin because these water soluble vitamins will will be washed away by your body is it okay then risk of overdose ha huh. consuming too many fortified food can lead to the excessive intake of certain vitamins and mineral which can harmful for example too much vitamin a can cause liver damage while excessive iron can lead to the ga uh, gastro intestinal issue okay first thing then children at risk younger children are particularly vulnerable to overdosing on added vitamins as their dietary needs are lower than the adults then nutrient imbalance unbalanced diet relying heavily on the fortified food might lead to the unbalanced diet where individual may neglect other nutrients not included in the fortified products then misleading health perception fortified food are often high in sugar fats sodium this can create a false perception of healthiness leading people to consume more of these unhealthy food aapne dekha hoga abhi ek market ke mein scam chal raha hai that scam is related to those people who are vegetarian most of the influencer that fitness influencer are saying that just consume one or two tablespoon of that peanut butter for your protein supplement if you are a vegetarian yes जो भी पीनट बटर आप लेके आएंगे जस्ट गो विद दैट कंटेंट विच वॉज रिटर्न बिहाइंड दैट सो दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग यू विल फाइंड शुगर फैट्स एंड सोडियम देर एंड एक्सेसिव ऑफ शुगर फैट्स एंड सोडियम इज नॉट गुड फॉर यूर हेल्थ ओके तो वो बोल तो रहे प्रोटीन दे दो अरे वो प्रोटीन का सोर्स नहीं है उतना लेकिन ये स्कैम है आप सर्च कर लो बस पीनट बटर बेनिफिट्स ऑफ पीनट बटर ऑन यूट्यूब एनी वे यू वॉन्ट यू विल फाइंड मेनी रील्स मेनी वीडियोज ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग वाई बिकॉज दे आर टारगेटिंग दोज वेजिटेरियन पीपल बिकॉज नॉन वेजिटेरियन कैन इजिली गेट दर प्रोटीन रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम एग्स और फ्रॉम चिकन और फ्रॉम एनी वे दे वॉन्ट बट वेजिटेरियन पीपल आर हैविंग लेस ऑप्शन यस सो they are targeting these people log chamach bhar bhar ke khaye ja rahe hain usko lekin uske bahut sare nuksan hai theek hai kyunki usme fats hain sugars hain 
दुनिया भर की बात है कोस्ट एंड एक्सेसिबिलिटी इकोनॉमिक बैरियर फोर्टिफाइड फूड कैन बी मोर एक्सपेंसिव देन देर नॉन फोर्टिफाइड काउंटर पार्ट मेकिंग देम लेस एक्सेप्टेबल लेस एक्सेप्टेबल टू दी लो इनकम पॉपुलेशन बायो अवेबिलिटी इशू दिस इज द बिग इशू ओके द एडेड न्यूट्रिय इन दी फोर्टिफाइड फूड मे नॉट ऑलवेज बी एस बायो अवेलेबल विच मीन्स इजिली एब्सोर्ब बाय द बॉडी एज दो फाउंड इन द नेचुरली इन नेचुरली इन द होल फूड इज इट ओके लाइक वन ऑफ द अनदर थिंग विच इज फ्रीक्वेंटली इन द न्यूज इज ओमेगा थ्री फैटी एसिड विच इज गुड फॉर योर हार्ट हेल्थ विच इज which lowered uh, lower down your uh, cholesterol level yes or no good for your skin good for your hair good for your eyes etc now omega 3 fatty acid first thing which is not present in your body which cannot be synthesized to your body which means you have to take this particular thing from outside okay this is the first thing okay you have to take this particular food from outside now in outside one of the source of omega 3 fatty acid is a which source one of the which sources fish if you are consuming fish then your omega 3 fatty acid requirement will be fulfilled easily as and one more thing bio availability of omega 3 fatty acid which is present in the fish will be more simple yes because it is the natural source of omega 3 fatty acid other source like for vegetarians it is that flax seeds okay but not that much present in the flax seeds so you have to consume okay more number of spoons of flax seeds which is not tasty in nature to aap waise kha nahi paoge usko to ye ek vegetarian ke liye constraint hai now the third option is supplement okay but the point is what about supplement bio availability ka issue banega fir wahan pe getting my point or not that is why it is all uh, it is always suggested that if you are taking any supplement any thing outside from your diet then just consult your doctor first whether you are having deficiency or not kyu nahi to hyper vitaminosis ho jayega aapka already vitamin a ka level acha hai aur aap upar se aur khaye ja rahe ho dikkat hogi na wo isi wajah se bolte hain theek hai gym cause the disease sir by taking more proteins <laughs> okay uh, process of adding mean, uh, mineral to the increase theek hai theek hai yes or no so absorption challenge is also one of the challenge then a regulatory control okay vitamin toxicity symptom vitamin d abdominal cramp nausea okay vomiting okay affect uh, liver disease kidney etc ye dekh lena isko ek bar theek hai <coughs> successful food fortification program in the world one is our program salt ayo digestion in india then fortified rice program of bangladesh collaborative effort involving bangladesh government and world food program and nutritional international uh, world food program nutritional international have uh, facilitated the bio fortification in the rice uh, rice with the zinc iron folic acid vitamin a vitamin b1 and b12 this fortified rice is distributed across the various district improving the nutritional status of the population then vitamin a fortification in the philippines then flour fortification in the jordan and milk fortification in the mexico okay and we are implementing all these programs in india as well okay vitamin a fortification bhi chal raha hai flour fortification har type ka fortification we are implementing now this is one more topic first write down one more question related to food fortification what is food fortification what is food fortification and what are the challenges what are the challenges
what are the challenges challenges involved in the food fortification involved in the food fortification discuss discuss this with respect to india <clears throat> discuss it with respect to india now what is the need to have food fortified ye need hai this is the latest data that we are having right now which is known as national family health survey 5 okay kya data bolta hai national family health survey conducted between 2019 to 2021 provides important insight into the nutritional status of the children under 5 years in india first stunting kya hota hai stunting what is stunting less height with respect to the age and what is wasting less weight yes okay with respect to the age so first one is stunting prevalence of stunting that is low height for the age age ke hisab se height nahi badi and the point is stunting is chronic as well weight can be improved wasting can be improved in the future yes but stunting cannot be improved this is the problem with the stunting aap height nahi bada sakte ho ek age ke baad mein okay that weight management can be uh, can be done yes or no so wasting can uh, the situation of wasting can be improved in the later stage of life as well but stunting problem cannot be improved yes so first thing is stunting low height for age among the children under 5 has decreased from 38% to 35% which means abhi bhi kitna hai stunting rate in india is 35% zyada hai yes yaar one third of our children more than one third of our children are stunted big issue west westing the prevalence of westing that is low weight for the height hai na has reduced from 21% to 19% basically ye bhi kitna hai 20% so every fifth children in india is wasted give one of one of the example of wasting आपने फील किया हो या नहीं वेन आई वॉज इन देंथ एकदम से हाइट बढ़ गई थी ठीक है लेकिन वेट नहीं बढ़ा था दैट वॉज नथिंग बट द वेस्टिंग ठीक है ना हाइट बढ़ गई क्योंकि यहां पे क्या लिखा हुआ है लो वेट फॉर द हाइट तो वो बच्चे जिनकी एकदम से हाइट बढ़ गई बहुत लंबे हैं लेकिन वेट ही नहीं है उनका है ना दुबले पतले से एकदम ये लंबी हाइट हो गई विच इज नथिंग बट वेस्टिंग ठीक है so wasting rate कितना है 19.3 percent uh, roughly every fifth children in India is wasted then underweight the percentage of children under फाइव years who are underweight has decreased from 35 percent to 32 percent again every third child in India or one third child in India yes okay then obesity now if you will say that obesity is not the problem of nutrition yes or no obesity is the problem of over nutrition yes but the point is malnourishment also involves obesity malnutrition undernutrition over nutrition malnutrition ke do part hai okay mal nutrition it is having two part one is under nutrition another one is over nutrition under nutrition will lead to stunting wasting underweight and anemia four things first stunting second wasting third thing underweight fourth thing anemia and over nutrition will lead to obesity 
yes this is the entire spectrum of your malnourishment or malnutrition theek hai to usme sirf yahi nahi aata hai kami nahi aati hai zyada bhi aata hai so if you are having over nutrition like obesity there is a rising trend in obesity among the adults the prevalence of overweight or obesity among the women increased from 20.6% to 24% and among men 18.9% to 22.9% health indicators are not good yes or no obesity bhi badh rahi hai which is not a good thing why why ob obesity is increasing in india first sedentary lifestyle okay sedentary lifestyle is one issue second fast food junk food okay other unhealthy habits like smoking drinking yes more no outdoor activity sports aur ye sab band ho gaya sports has been replaced with those video games pubg etc yes ho hi raha hai na aisa ek ye ek issue hai bahut bada and that is why obesity is increased okay so this is the national family health survey five data again stunting rate kitna hai almost 35% wasting rate 20% wasting rate underweight 32% and obesity rate 20 to 25% in men and women in both yes next national family health survey uh, conducted okay some overall prevalence anemia yes anemia now this is the data with respect to anemia kya hai um, anemia among women aged between 15 to 49 years increased from 53% to 57% what are the negatives of anemia in general these are the symptoms which are in front of you what are eyes yellowing skin paleness coldness yellowing respiratory shortness of breath okay muscular weaknesses intestinal changed the stool color spleen enlargement chest pain angina heart attack ye sara to hai hi sahi yahan pe hum ye to man wala baat ho gaya anemia in women which is 57% how this particular anemia in women will affect the offsprings or the children that this particular woman will be bearing in future how will how this particular thing will affect the future children batao infant mortality that can be increased how or neonatal mortality rate will be increased how shortness of breath why shortness of breath anemia due to the deficiency of iron iron is the important component of your blood that is hemoglobin and hemoglobin is the thing which is carrying the oxygen so basically it is nothing but the lack of oxygen yes lack of oxygen this particular thing is known as apoxia hai na wo hypoxia ya apoxia kuch bolte hain usko ki aapke body mein oxygen hi nahi bachi why because iron is not there okay when child will be born he will also be subjected to the subjected to the same thing that is lack of oxygen okay and child will be died with the asphyxiation that is the shortness of breath and lack of oxygen and which is known as neonatal mortality rate are you getting my point so the anemia in mother is dangerous for the offspring or dangerous for the upcoming child that is why government is distributing folic acid folic acid is nothing but the iron supplement which is given to the pregnant ladies free of cost kyu free of cost de de rahe taki jo offsprings jo ho unme wo asphyxiation 
वैसी शॉर्टनेस ऑफ ब्रेथ ऑक्सीजन की कमी ना हो वो सर्वाइव कर जाए इंडिया में इतना ज्यादा इन्फेंट मोर्टेलिटी रेट क्यों है बिकॉज 58 परसेंट कितना 57 परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल वुमन आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम एनीमिया इफ वुमन इज हैविंग एनीमिया देन द चाइल्ड विल बी बोर्न विद द एनीमिया एंड इट्स चांसेस ऑफ सर्वाइवल स्पेशली इन दो फाइव ईयर फर्स्ट स्पेशली इन दो ट्वेंटी एट डेज दैट इज नियो नेटल मोर्टैलिटी ओके स्पेशली इन दो ट्वेंटी एट डेज विल बी लेस वाई बिकॉज ऑफ द लेक ऑफ ऑक्सीजन Are you getting my point? So anemia कैसे काम करता है है ना Anemia is nothing but the lack of iron. Iron is the constituent of blood, and iron is the constituent of blood which is nothing but hemoglobin. Now hemoglobin is carrying oxygen throughout the body. So in the absence of iron, which will affect the hemoglobin content, and hemoglobin content affect the oxygen carrying capacity. ऑक्सीजन कैविंग कैपेसिटी नहीं है देन इट विल अफेक्ट शॉर्टनेस ऑफ द ब्रेथ द सेम सिम्टम्स विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू द चिल्ड्रेन उसकी डेथ हो जाएगी अब यू गेटिंग है ना दिस इज हाउ एनीमिया इज इंपैक्टिंग चिल्ड्रेन नाउ चिल्ड्रेन द प्रेविलेंस ऑफ एनीमिया अमंग द चिल्ड्रेन इज कितना फिफ्टी नाइन परसेंट इन नेशनल फैमिली हेल्थ सर्वे नाउ इट इज क्लियर वाई बिकॉज फिफ्टी सेवन परसेंट ऑफ टोटल मदर है ना फिफ्टीन टू फोर्टी नाइन ईयर ऑफ एज इज नथिंग बट दी चाइल्ड बेविंग एज फॉर द वुमन नाउ इफ मदर इज हैविंग एनीमिया देन चिल्ड्रेन विल बी हैविंग द एनीमिया रीजन इज दिस ओके एडोलसेंट फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट वन परसेंट ऑफ द एडोलसेंट गर्ल एंड थर्टी वन परसेंट ऑफ द एडोलसेंट बॉयज इन द सेम एज ग्रुप वर फाउंड टू बी एनीमिक pregnant woman anemia among the pregnant woman increased slightly from 50% to 52% is it okay that is why we need food fortification fortified rights colonel hai na that was in the news but uh, we are not having time just go with this particular thing in india we are having this process to fortify the rice वट इज द मैथड इज ऑल अबाउट बहुत सारी मैथड है फोर्टिफाइड राइस कैवनल क्या होते हैं यू आर टेकिंग राइस फ्लोर आपने चावल का आटा लिया नाउ यू आर मिक्सिंग विटामिन ए आई वन एटसेट्रा इन दैट पर्टिकुलर चावल का आटा इज इट ओके नाउ यू आर मेकिंग राइस लाइक कर्नल्स ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग ठीक है आपने क्या किया चावल का आटा लिया नाउ यू आर मिक्स्ड, नाउ यू आर मिक्सिंग विटामिन ए आई वन एंड अदर सप्लीमेंट्स दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू फोर्टिफाई मिक्स किया एंड नाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ मशीन यू आर कन्वर्टिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर फ्लोर ओके और पर्टिकुलर पेस्ट इनटू राइस लाइक सब्सटेंस, ओके राइस लाइक सब्सटेंस बन गया नाउ यू आर मिक्सिंग दैट राइस लाइक सब्सटेंस इन द नॉर्मल राइस and you are distributing that into entire population this particular process okay to jo jo chawal bante hain usko kya bolte hain fortified rice kernels are rice grains that have been enriched with the essential vitamins and minerals to the adverse micronutrient this process particularly important in the region where rice is the staple food in india rice is the staple food so rice is fortified nutrient enrichment i have zinc vitamin a etc look fortified rice kernels for industrial use only not for direct human consumption why because it is not mixed with the normal rice aap pura wo nahi kha sakte ho hai na nahi to fir kya hoga wohi hypervitaminosis hai na theek hai so coating is the process dusting is the process in india this process is used which is known as extrusion what is this broken rice grains are ground in the rice flour mixed with water and pre mix of vitamin and minerals to form the dough then this dough is often extruded through the machine to form rice shaped kernels which are dried and then blended with the regular rice okay what are the advantages the nutrients are embedded within the rice kernel making them more stable and less likely to be lost during the washing and cooking 
तो उसको ये प्रोसेस किया ग्राउंड राइस फ्लोर माइक्रोन्यूट्रिएंट प्री मिक्स देन एफ आर के ब्लैंड एक्सट्रूडर ड्राइंग कूलिंग बल्क स्टोरेज पैकेजिंग फोर्टिफाइड राइस कर्नल्स एंड नाउ दे आर मिक्सड विद द प्लेन राइस और ये बन गया इज इट ओके दिस इज द प्रोसेस विच इज यूज इन इंडिया एंड दिस प्रोसेस विल बी कंटिन्यूड ठीक है फूड फोर्टिफिकेशन ओके सो दिस फूड फोर्टिफिकेशन थिंग विल बी कंटिन्यूड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू प्रधानमंत्री गरीब अन्न कल्याण योजना विच इज नथिंग बट योर पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम दैट राशन कार्ड ओके तो वहां पर आपको ये वाला मिलता रहेगा अभी और ठीक है टारगेटेड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम अदर वेलफेयर स्कीम लाइक आईसीडीएस आंगनवाड़ी पी एम पोषण विच इज नथिंग बट मिड डे मील स्कीम सो यू विल बी रिसीविंग दैट फोर्टिफाइड राइस इन दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग दैट्स ऑल फॉर टू डेज क्लास ओके एक बार इस पीपीटी से और गोथ्रो हो जाओगे तो आपको पूरा ये जो जो भी हमने कॉन्सेप्ट आज पढ़े हैं वो सारे आपको समझ में आ जाएंगे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फोर टू फाइव कॉन्सेप्ट टूडे वन इज एंटीबायोटिक नॉट एंटीबायोटिक एंटी माइक्रोबियल ओके विच इन्वॉल्व एंटीबायोटिक एंटी वायरल एंटी पेरासाइट एक्सेट्रा देन सेकेंड एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस देन थर्ड डिफरेंस बिटवीन वैक्सीन एंड एंटीबायोटिक ओके फोर्थ ट्यूबर कोलेसिस उसके टाइप्स देन फिफ्थ फूड फोर्टिफिकेशन एंड द लास्ट थिंग इज दैट फोर्टिफाइड डिवाइस कर्नल्स ओके एंड द मैथड दैट वी आर यूजिंग राइट नाउ इन इंडिया ओके थैंक यू मिलते हैं फिर नेक्स्ट क्लास में